it's Miss Lester and today I am here to teach you at home some geography. Now this is going to be our first lesson on our pirates. So we're going to make something really fun, okay? Today I am going to be making a, doo -doo 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 -doo, a pirate map. Now all you will need is a pencil, a piece of paper and your fantastic imagination. So on my pirate map, I am going to draw some different landmarks. I might draw a funky palm tree. There we go. Put some coconuts on it. Beautiful. Um, a treasure chest. Now we all know that pirates are always looking for our treasure. So I'm going to draw a nice big 3D effect treasure chest right here. I might do some gold spilling out of it. Fabulous. Hmm, what else can be found on my treasure island? So we've got trees, we've got a treasure chest, we've got, oh, it's a shark! You know, I think on my treasure island, there is a river. So I'm gonna draw the river flowing through the island and connecting to the sea because that's where all rivers end up. Um, I might do some grass and maybe some little bushes. There we go, wonderful. Uh, what about a little house? Maybe a little hut where some pirates live. There we go, there's my little hut. Put a door on it. Fantastic. I think I might also up here include some big mountains. I'm going to give them snowy tops and maybe even down here I'm going to draw a little volcano pew, 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 with all its lava coming down. There we go, wonderful. Oh, nearly forgot a big X where the treasure is because X marks the spot. Gorgeous. Right, now I'm going to add some colour to my pirate map. Okay, now I've added some colour and I've even gone around the features on my map using a black pen to really make them stand out. Good job! So it's a lovely map, but it doesn't look very old and it doesn't look very piratey yet. So for the next step, I want you at home to get your map and do this. Okay, scrumple it up. Let's make it look really oldy and woldy. Now you need to be quite gentle when you unpick your map. You might want to ask a grown-up at home to help you with this bit. Unpick it. Oh gosh, it's all crumpled and wumpled. But wait, home learners. It's going to look so much like a real treasure map in a moment. Ah, time for a nice, relaxing cup of tea. Now, please ask your grown-up before you even think about doing this next bit because you will need to get a tea bag and some hot water and leave it in the hot water to make a little bit of tea. And we are going to use this tea to make our map look super piratey. Now, please make sure you allow the tea to cool. Don't stick your fingers in a boiling hot cup of water, okay? Now, when your tea has got nice and cool, you can just take the soggy tea bags out, oh, whoopsie daisy, and you are going to dab them all over your map. Okay, so as you can see, I have soaked my map with the tea. I've just dabbed it all over, and it's all right if it's a little bit wet like that, because it will dry pretty quickly and give you that oldie woldy tea stained effect. Now, Miss Lester made a bit of an error using a marker pen to go over her work because it has run slightly, but I'm hoping this is going to add to the overall effect and it will still come out beautiful. All right, so I'm going to leave that little mess for a bit and I'll send you all a picture when it's dry and finished. Happy home learning, guys. See you later.